Hi everyone and welcome back to A Jolly Good Life. So today I wanted to share with you this super easy and fast craft. Graduation is right around the corner. So this could be done in a day. If you need a last minute little idea for a graduation party favor. So what you're going to need is some cardstock whatever color you choose. I just chose these because of the blue, the navy blue. You're going to need some ribbon once again, whatever color you want. This is one eighth of an inch and I just got this for 78 cents I think it was at Walmart. It's really really thin. It's one eighth of an inch. You're also going to need some of these chocolates, the Hershey Nuggets. I just find that they're a good size for what we're going to be using them for, but I'm sure you can use any other ones, but these nuggets work really well. Some glue dots. And I have the half inch glue dots. Just some regular old tape. Cat tape catches everything. So some regular old tape, a pen or pencil, scissors, that wasn't scissors, these are the scissors, scissors, a ruler or something to measure with, and little rhinestones. Now I'll be honest with you, when I made this one, and I did make quite a few more of them, I used, they sell like little sticky, shiny, like these, except they're sticky, on like one sheet of paper, on one sheet of plastic. They sell them, I've seen them at Walmart, and I just took a black magic marker and I drew on it so it was dark. That's what I did. So this one I did not actually use one of these rhinestones, I actually used the peel and stick rhinestones for this and it worked just perfect. I just don't have any so I'm using <laughs> I'm using these I just have these around the house. See how that works out. Alright so let's get started. Alright so what you're gonna need are strips and I'll be perfectly honest with you the ones that I made before I made with my Cricut because the Cricut can cut these out perfectly for you. You just put in the dimensions, but for those of you who do not have a Cricut, I'm going to show you the way, the other way you could do it. So this strip right here is going to be one inch across, right there, by three inches. And the little hat part, the top, is going to be an inch and a half by an inch and a half. So an inch and a half by an inch and a half and one inch by three inches. So I'll show you real quick how I did this with the ruler. All right, so this is the easiest way that I found to do it. I will put it this way so you guys can see. So it's gonna be one inch wide. So what I did was just make a little mark right here. It's one inch across and three inches long. So I just put the end of the three inches down here. And as you can see, the ruler is one inch across. So this made it pretty easy. I just put it at the end of the edge of the paper. That's my three inches long. There you go. I just use my scissors and cut it. Like I said, I did use my Cricut, but in case you don't have one, because I didn't have one until recently, 
you can do it this way. Then I did the same thing for the top of the hat, except it is one and a half inches by one and a half inches. So let's just go over here in the corner because it just makes it easier for me. And I always like to go with the long part of the ruler off of the paper. So that's an inch and a half right there. I just mark the top. And then we have to go an inch and a half in. If you're a little bit off, that's okay. Like I said, these are really easy. Let's see if I can cut. All right. There you have. So now we have the strip, which is going to be the base of the hat, and then the little cap right there. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is take your chocolate. You're going to get your little paper and just simply wrap it around. Like that. And just get a piece of tape. A small piece. You don't have to make it a big piece. This is good enough. tape it. There you go. You're almost done. There you go. Now you're going to need one of your glue dots. There you go. Glue dot. Now I did use smaller glue dots for this one, but I think it'll be fine. Get your little hat. And I like to do it diagonal, like a diamond. So you could do it like this if you choose. I prefer to do it like this at an angle. And at an angle, I mean, it's not, it's not running the same way with the hat, but, or as the base of the hat. So it's up to you how you choose to do it. Little, you're gonna need about a three and a half inch of your ribbon and as you can see I cut angles on the ends that's optional of course you're gonna fold it in half and get another glue dot now this is where I think the smaller glue dots would be better and I'm just used, showing you what I used right here on these today. So you just fold your little ribbon in half. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you stick it on there. Then you simply take your little rhinestone and and another glue dot. So now the next thing you're going to do is get your little rhinestone and put it on there. Now that I look at it, I would say that I would suggest getting the smaller glue dots because those are the ones I used for this one. And as you can see, you cannot even tell that there is a glue dot under there, but that is what I used, the smaller glue dots. But let's finish this one off because I think this is cute anyway. I'm going to get a black marker so I can show you just in case this is the way you choose to do it. I'm going to show you how that's done. 
All right, so I went and got a black magic marker. It's a permanent marker. For this one, I actually used a black Sharpie. And once it dried, it was fine. This one's just a black permanent marker I had around the house. There's the bottom. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that super fast and easy craft for a little graduation party. Could be any graduation. Could be a kindergarten graduation, could be in eighth grade going into high school or a high school. Hey, why not? That could be even be like a college graduation little gift and idea. So here's this one. Once again, I used the smaller glue dots for this one and the little stick on rhinestones. I just colored it black with a Sharpie. And then on this one, I don't like it as much, quite frankly, but it could be done. I used the larger glue dot, because that's what I had, and the little rhinestone that I had already, which is the reason it looks a little off, is because I had to put two glue dots. I had to put a glue dot, the ribbon, and then a glue dot for this to stick. With this one, all I had to do was put the small glue dot, the ribbon, and then the little rhinestone stuck on itself without me having to use another glue dot. So there you go, guys. Thank you again for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm really going to try to get more crafts going. I have a lot of ideas and no time. <laughs> so I really do appreciate it. Thanks again. And I hope you enjoy this craft. I'll see you next time on a jolly good life. Bye.